Therefore, it's now time for statements by ministries. Minister of Children and Youth Services. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to recognize October as Child Abuse Prevention Month in Ontario and to help draw attention to the Ontario Association of Children's Aid Society's annual Purple Ribbon Campaign. The Purple Ribbon Campaign encourages Ontarians from all across the province to learn the signs of child abuse and neglect, and it reminds us that everyone, Mr. Speaker, has a duty, a legal duty, to report suspected cases of child abuse and neglect. I thank the members of the House who are joining me here today to bring awareness to this important cause by wearing a purple ribbon. Ontarians should never hesitate to report suspected cases of child abuse or neglect. They do not need to be sure a child is or may be in need of protection to make a report to the Children's Aid Society. They only need reasonable grounds for their suspicion. Members of the public, including professionals who work with children and youth, can find contact information in their local Children's Aid Society uh, by dialing 411, where applicable, or visiting my ministry, Mr. Speaker, uh, under the website ontario.ca forward slash stop child abuse. Child abuse knows no barriers or boundaries, and it takes on many forms. It can be physical, emotional, and sexual, or it can take on a form of neglect, failing to uh, provide a child with basic needs such as food, shelter, and safety. Sadly, every year, children's aid societies across the province receive many reports of alleged abuse and neglect. This sobering reality is what drives our government to be there for children and to give them the support that they need. And that is why I call on all Ontarians, Mr. Speaker, neighbours, colleagues, coaches, friends, professionals working with children to be vigilant and report any reasonable suspicion they may have to a children's aid society. In support of Children's, aid prevention, uh, children's Abuse Prevention Month, my ministry is conducting a public awareness campaign to inform the general public of their duty to report suspected cases of child abuse or neglect where they are providing all MPPs, and we are providing all MPPs with campaign material for their constituency office. We're also, Mr. Speaker, uh, we will continue to provide funding to our children's aid societies and the association to train uh, protection staff so they can promptly respond to suspected cases of abuse and neglect. And I want to take a moment, Mr. Speaker, to uh, thank uh, all of uh, our workers in children's aid societies for the work they do, uh, the volunteers, board members, management, uh, the work they do to protect our children here in Ontario. Our government is committed to improving the lives of all young Ontarians, especially those uh, receiving Children's Aid Society services. Over the last decade, our government has taken action to make the child welfare system more responsive to individual family needs and more accountable to the public. We've in introduced reforms that have resulted in fewer kids coming into care and more children being adopted or placed into permanent homes. We've taken action to better support young people previously and currently in care of the Children's Aid Societies, and we'll continue, Mr. Speaker, to work with Children's Aid Societies to build a sustainable system that achieves better outcomes for children and youth that rely on us. While we have taken important steps to improve the, ch uh, the child welfare system, we know, Mr. Speaker, that there's a lot more work to be done. And that is why we're working on a series, uh, we're working on services uh, we're working with providers, uh, youth families, and our partners to implement a strategy to better drive outcomes for children, youth, and family, serv and family services. It will support ac uh, accessible and coordinated services that are more responsive to an individual families and youth needs, and the strategy will drive quality and consistency within the child welfare system. It will stre strength strengthen governance and accountability through improved uh, monitoring, oversight and reporting, as well as more transparency. And in collaboration with Indigenous partners and leaders, we will include a unique approach to Indigenous communities. Mr. Speaker, our government is working hard to promote and protect our children and youth. But reporting and ending child abuse and neglect is a collective responsibility of all of us. And I urge all members of this House 
and all Ontarians to learn the signs of child abuse and neglect and to make uh, to report when uh, when they suspect uh, anything is going wrong uh, to your local ch uh, children's aid societies. I want to take this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to say thank you to the members of the uh, the legislature and uh, for supporting this cause. And uh, again, thank you to our children's aid societies here in Ontario. Thank you. Further statements by ministry?